Yeah. There you go. See that? So you see this hand, he's, he's controlling, Derek's controlling Jake the whole time with his hands. He's drawing his hands all the way through here. Tayotoshi is classified as a hand technique or tewaza in the Kodokan Judo syllabus. And the use of the hands in Tayotoshi is the defining element of this, this throwing technique. Three common ways to use the hikite or pulling hand are shown in this video. And while there's certainly other ways to use the hikite, these three are quite common and very useful. These three common uses of the hikite or pulling hand are one, lift and pull. This is the most fundamental and commonly used form of uh, the pulling hand. And Tori uses his pulling hand to draw Uki up and then snaps forward as he finishes the throw. Very common, very useful. You see this probably most often in all forms of Tayotoshi. The second, it's a lift and rotational pull. And in this uh, application of Hikite, Tori uses his pulling hand to pull around his own body in a rotational movement and then snaps his opponent up and into the throw and over the body. The third one is the, what I call a chop-in pull. This use of the hikite, Tori uses his pulling hand to pull in, trap, or chop in Uki's arm, trapping it close to uh, uh, Tori's body as Tori does the attack. Often, this is, this is done with a wide leg split style of Tayotoshi. I'm pulling my, my hikite, my pulling hand up, and like I'm looking in the back of my hand, and I want a nice straight line back here. I don't want to pull it down. Now, we, there are different ways you can do it to pull it down. Some of us have a tayotoshi where we do that, but right now the very basic elements of it are like this. That's the hikite, like this, and look at it. So just kind of keep, and turn your head, and keep looking. That turns your body. Now your right hand, when you're doing this, is when I step, this is the surite, the lifting hand. A lot of people call it the power hand or the steering hand or directional hand. Okay, when I pull so like this, what I want to do, my fist straight up in the, el in, my, in the air, my elbow right along the line of this pectoral. Okay, and I think this will be helpful for you, so you get that right there. Okay, so when I watch my surite, like this, see that? And see how I'm turning, okay? Okay, now notice my step. See how I turn my whole body? Okay, now I'm preparing to turn the throw. <clears throat> so, when I step him, step him in like this. I'll just get in. Okay, one, two, okay. Now, this time when I step, watch my step all the way. I turn all the way around. Now, see my foot's here? I'm going to swing about here and drop low. See, I'm dropping under his knee. So, I'm under, I'm just kind of scooping under him. And that's the Atoshi part, the dropping part. Step. There you go. See that? So you see, this hand, he's, he's controlling, Derek's controlling Jake the whole time with his hands. He's drawing his hands all the way through here. And that's what's throwing him. Everybody concentrates on the lower half of the body. It's really the upper half of the body that's setting him up and controlling him so much that's really breaking his posture and balance. Now, what Derek's gonna do when he spins around and he gets a very low stance under him with his legs wide, he will, just go ahead and throw him. There you go. It makes it powerful because what happens is you're drawing him up into you and he's like this way. Watch, okay, just don't even, just, just kind of draw him up. So watch when he draws him up, see how he kind of brings him up, way up there. See like it? Now he's, he's got this big scooping action here. Now when he comes under him, when he spins under, see how he's way low under him? He's ready to throw him. Okay, go ahead. Now, when you throw them, when you're using your hands and using this action here, you want to spring up. And it might, some of you might find this helpful, pop your head a little bit. And that forward pop will really help get a little more spring in the action. So I want to be here and I want to pop like this. And when you get that action, I think you'll find it's a very powerful throw. And you'll see the hands are so important in doing this, this Tayotoshi. Same time, one, two. 
on my toes nice and light. And to finish my throw, I'm going to swing this hammer, throw it to the ground that way. And this leg, I'm going to step across. Pulling out here, downward motion, then back up. So here. Just in here, up in his ear, to me, and past me. Get him up, right here. It's in front. I should be able to look forward, see that hand. I'm going to leave it back here. Not going to work. This hand here, straight out, 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 down, and then at the end I put a whip in it. Put some on the back. Speed it up a little bit. So first I'll throw it. Up there. Put it. So I step, when I step, my hand's already here. When this back leg goes back, this hand is punching forward. Right here, punching forward, then this one's across. 50-50. Right Circle motion. When you set up pumping, which is what normal, normal you do, it's very good. Mike will chop it in. And he comes around, he spits, and he rolls him. Well, if you want to talk us through it even, you know, uh, tell us a little bit about it. I mean, I, I collapse a man. All right, brother. Start with a little bit of a sugar foot. The wife keeps catching. He has a step across. Now, your, your kazushi, or your unbalancing of him, is your left arm. You're pulling his elbow in, aren't you? Which is totally different than most guys do their Tayotoshi. So you're kind of like, uh, like we always say, wrapping a belt around them. So your right hand is up high on that. Let me see your right hand there. I see up there. Okay. And your left hand is squishing in. Yeah. Turning in. And so rather than a standard where you really lift high with your elbow, like most people do, you're really collapsing his elbow and throwing him in that direction. So to wrap things up, the use of the hands is the defining element of Tayotoshi. It, it, what makes Tayotoshi a Tayotoshi? In this case, the hikite, or the pulling hand, and of course the use of the surite, or the lifting hand, are fundamentally important in Tayotoshi. And we also know that the, the leg split, and how wide or narrow the leg split is, and how we, we use that, are, that's also a defining feature of Tayotoshi. The handwork is, is the, the key feature of Tayotoshi. It's what makes it a Tayotoshi. And while the use of the hands are certainly individual, each person based on his or her training experience and practice, the three uses of the hikite or pulling hand shown in this video are quite common and used in many forms of Tayotoshi. So thanks so much for watching. Circle motion.